Okay, Hippie Sheeksters, so this video is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to be posting this probably, it's going to be like February, the first Wednesday of February, um, coming up close. So I'm doing a vlog style kind of video, um, so I'm not even really fully doing an intro where I skip and come into it kind of thing, so I'm just going to start <clears throat> talking about what I want to talk to you about. So I am going through a lot of difficulties and challenges in my life. I feel I'm breaking out horribly and I don't know even why I'm overweight and I've been overweight for a while and I'm just coming to cope with the fact that I am and that I need to be healthier in different ways. So I wanted to do a health um, section of my YouTube as well as a vlog form style. Until I get my first YouTube channel up, I'm not going to do a vlog channel yet. I'm just going to do a couple videos vlog style, but pretty much I just wanted to introduce this idea to you guys. I want to do a cooking um, video for my health, showing you some of the meals that I'm now preparing and how I find them, a shopping vlog, um, how I plan my meal plans and all the things I'm doing, what I'm doing to work out, um, what I'm eating, what I'm drinking, kind of things to show you what I'm doing to try to be more healthier in the year of 2016. And little tips and tricks and ideas for if you're struggling with trying to stay healthy as well and doing <clears throat> well on that train, like just giving you like a little bit of motivation and tips and tricks. And I really want to grow my YouTube community. And so if you're definitely struggling with that idea of just staying healthy, finding ways to like cut corners of getting healthier things into your daily meal plans. Because I know if you're working, you're a mom, you run a family household, um, and you don't have a lot of time because you work an eight, nine hour shift and you're coming home at like seven, eight o'clock. You really don't want to cook a healthy dinner or go work out. And if you're up at four o'clock, but you have to be at work at five and you're having these long days, like what you can do to kind of do a little tip and tricks. Um, I've tried the 21 day fix, which I really, really liked it. It's definitely a hard program to follow when it comes down to eating because they literally give you a list. Of these are all the foods that you can buy and include and then you really have to research what kind of meals you can make with those foods that especially if you're not in interested in eating a lot of the food that they offer to you it's definitely hard to get into the flow it's a lot of prep work it's a lot of like mind changing in your game and it's definitely a really strict thing I mean it's a three-week program that you just keep going with um, so I found ugh, like little tips and tricks. So I'm thinking about doing something like that, um, as well to talk about different programs that I've tried and things that we can do, um, from, I used to work out with a personal trainer a lot and how I felt about with that and how I felt like, I just want to do like a video diary of just being healthy and all of that and having like a couple of fun videos of like, here, try this recipe out. This is how I make it. Here's how I pre-prep my food for my next work day. And stuff like that. So I definitely want to know in my comments down below if this is a video you'd be really interested in watching. Um, because it's something that's really personal and close to me. And it's taken me years to finally want to say, I get it. I'm not the healthiest person. I need to do something to fix that. Whether I'm working out hardcore or I'm just changing the way I eat. I just want to feel better on the inside. I don't necessarily need to look or feel better on the outside where people are like, oh, I want to lose all this weight and be super skinny because I'm going to work out and do all that. I'm not being fake. I just feel like I need to be happy with what I look like and how I feel on the outside. So all I really feel like I need to change is just the way I'm feeling on the inside, being healthier. Maybe if I'm even more healthier than what I'm doing now, maybe the acne that I'm struggling with will subside. Maybe that's all is my issue. I'm just not drinking enough water or eating the right food. Um, I'm definitely doing a lot of personal reflection this year and I feel that that's what this year is about is reflecting. I've just barely turned 27 years old and maybe it's because I hit my 27th birthday that my body just goes, let's work something out with you. But I'm married. I understand life is busy. Life is full of twists and turns so you can have a perfect plan and you can write it out in your planner and something always happens to ruin that plan that you wrote in your planner, which is just very defeating in your planner when you're trying to get all organized and all of that. So I definitely think that, and I use my hands a lot to talk, so sorry. Uh, I think there are just a lot of tips and tricks. So like I started last year using my Fitbit, which has definitely helped because 
I realize how lazy I can be on like my weekends and like on certain days because I'm not hitting my 10,000 steps. Um, I'm actually in the process because I've been hitting my 10,000 steps like almost every day now. I'm going to be updating and making it 15,000 steps that I have to hit and I'm going to definitely be keeping track. So I'll do a video on my Fitbit and how I use the app and like my lifestyle. But this is just something that, again, is so important to me because I feel like there's not a big community of people who are really trying to help everyone understand what you're going through and feeling. I feel like I can watch a YouTube video where they're telling me, eat this, this is healthy, oh, the 21 Day Fix did this for me. I don't want you to know what it did for me. I want you to know how I feel about what I'm doing with it. I want you to feel like, okay, she's struggling this week because that food portion prep is just the hardest thing. Like, I want you to realize that real life, it's not like, this is an easy program. Let me tell you how quick and fast it is to do this. Like, I feel like that's what I see a lot of YouTube health guru, like people do um, with it. A lot of people aren't real. I've noticed that the YouTubers that I really stick to watching, they're very honest. They do a very raw cut video and they tell you, I'm depressed. This is why. This is what I'm doing to try to fix myself. But don't try it at home because this may not help if you feel like you're depressed. You need to go do this. You need to see a doctor. You need to figure out why you're depressed. You need to work on what you need to work on. And so I want to just have a very real aspect of health and like a daily thing that we're going through. So definitely, um, Loie Lane is a plus size model that I watch on YouTube and she does a lot of unboxings and a lot of clothing hauls. And I feel like when I watch her inspirational videos about how she feels about her weight, how things went down in life, why people have such a negative out view on things, I just feel like she's finally, she gets out of her shell of like, look, it's me, Lily Lane, I'm wearing this outfit. And she tells you, shows you like the real her. And it kind of makes me connect a little bit with her. So I'm wanting to find a way to connect with you guys if you are watching my channel and be just really real and raw. Um, so this is just like my first vlog style form. I wanted to let you know a little bit about what my update for my channels are. I'm hoping by the second week in February, I have a meal that I've prepped um, that's healthy on a vegan 21 day eating clean like I've been researching um, a lot of different recipes that are really good and quick and easy like I'm trying to find a bunch of like five minute and under prep foods so it helps you guys have a quick prep of like a good lunch or even a quick dinner to pre prep um, as well as I want to sit down and film how I research the meals I'm cooking every week and how I put it out into a calendar and how I prep it. So I'm working a lot. This month of January is just more of a catch up month to really plan out videos for you um, and everything. I've definitely, I'm working on my background. As you can see, I've gotten a lot of things. My ass is backwards in the video, that's funny. Um, I've gotten a lot of things from my family to decorate. I've actually updated my shelf. It used to be white, but now it's brown, which you really can't even see my shelf yet. Um, and I'm just working on just changing things to work for me and to get me prepped and ready to do what I need to do for all of you as well um, and get on better schedules and all of that. So this video is just pretty much, hi, welcome to my channel. Um, this is the real me and I'm going to do the best I can do for you guys and on my schedule to stay consistent, to be honest and to just definitely tell you what's going on in life. So let me know again what you think in the comments down below if this is a video you'd be interested in watching and things that you would want to see on my health journey as a video even that I could try out and see. Let me know down below if you have really good websites or blogs that tell me about five minute foods that I never even knew about that I can try. Like, just please comment down below. Um, I've revamped a lot of my stuff. My social media is all getting changed. So just follow me on any of the social media that you are using. I have Twitter, I have Instagram, I have Snapchat, I have Periscope, I have pretty much every social media out there to follow me on. I'm getting ready to start snapping every day to start periscoping every week and just like giving you guys a full-on vlog style of my life and updates and everything. I'm getting better at it. So again, I want you guys to live your life with peace and love and just 
let me know how you're feeling um, about this video. This is probably one of the most open and honest videos I've ever posted. And it's definitely like coming from my heart. So again, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and just live your life again with peace and love. Bye. Okay guys, so this is night one. This is what my skin is currently looking like. There's a pimple there. Looks like I have a beard of pimples on my face. It's pretty much horrible. I'm trying the Curology product. Um, and so today is pretty much day one. I just got it in the mail. I just washed my face, so I'll be applying it. Okay guys, so I'm heading into day three. It is my third night putting on the Curology on my face. And within the last three days, I've already kind of noticed a little bit of a difference. My pimples are not as red as they were um, on my first day trying it. Um, they've gone down a lot, especially on this side. Like this was just covered, I felt. Um, and they're just getting super small and they're starting to heal a little bit better. Um, as well as this one. I've been getting a lot of like these stress looking pimples on my face over the last couple months and I feel like this is starting to help like soothe them, soothe them. And so pretty much this is just my review on it. I will probably do a full video on my Curology um, product and like what's in it and all that and explain to you what Curology is. But just to start my like new lifestyle videos about like what I'm going through and what I'm working on and how I'm fixing things. I've heard really good reviews about Curology, so I'm hoping that it pretty much helps out what I need fixed because I would say like this whole patch right here was just covered in pimples in my first like vlog style video um, and it's kind of already cleared it up, but yep, yeah, definitely have to try it out for a full month to know how I fully feel about it and if it's really helping so let's see what happens in a couple of days I'll get back to you and I'll have like another vlog style It'll be probably like another four day vlog over what I am doing or how I'm doing with the Curology program and all of that so I hope you guys have a great night bye